What's up, beautiful people? It is your homegirl, Shameless, and I have the Brothers Green. Hey guys. What's going on? Mike. And Josh. Josh. And I met them at the UNICEF event um, at the UN. And we were talking about food. I found out you guys have a cooking channel. Yeah, yeah we, we talked talk about, about food. Yeah. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> yeah, so I asked them, I'm like, let's do a video and let's do it for college students. And then you suggested four ingredients for each meal. Yeah, you know, college students these days, they're so busy. You've got schoolwork, you've got other things to do rather yeah, than Yeah, so cook. you only got four ingredients and it's quick and it's delicious. Yeah, we simplify it. We have a <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's all vegetarian, which yes. is great. For and it can be made vegan too. It could. And can be made non vegetarian. <laughs> vegan too. Yeah, you can throw meat to all of them. For all the meat eaters, you can throw it in there. <laughs> but we're going to start off with breakfast, which is going to be an egg sandwich in a pepper ring mold with a special treat of vegetarian bacon. So what do we got next, Joshua? Uh, this is a flatbread pizza, and it's basically really simple because all you're doing is taking flatbreads and you're making pizzas in a pan. You don't even need an oven. Such a great recipe. And then we're going <laughs> to finish it off with a four ingredient. Indian stir fry with tofu, broccoli. I'm sick. This is throwing me off. It Just wait. So Trust <laughs> us here. It's Pineapple delicious. Juice. I've tried it once. It works. It worked <laughs> once. Yeah. It'll work again. I'll try anything okay. twice. We'll get started with the breakfast sandwich. All you need to do to make bacon cheese is just some cheese. You take a nonstick pan and you sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella or some good melting cheese. Cheddar works. Mozzarella cheese. Sprinkle that down the little bacon strip. Sprinkle another one. And then let it fry on one side. The oil's gonna cook out. Then you flip it over and then you crisp it up on the other oh, side. And then you end so up with this crispy. crispy bacon cheese. Yeah, and it's actually healthier than cheese because you're cooking out the oil. It's healthier okay. than cheese. Oh, you're cooking out yeah. the oil. Yeah, it's so, so it's healthier cheese. than eating regular fried cheese. Fried bacon fried cheese is better than cheese. Better than regular that's, cheese? That's yeah. this guy's concept. I don't know if I trust him. You're cooking out it the makes, oil. Yeah, common it's, sense. It, it seems but don't like, you have to put oil in the pan? No, no because there's so much oil in cheese already. So after we got our bacon cheese, you can take that out on a paper towel and just let it, you know, like bacon, you let it dry out. So for the pepper ring mold, very simple. Take a bell pepper, any color will do, and just chop off a ring just like that. Throw that in the pan with a little bit of oil, and I just like sauteing it on one side to get a little extra flavor. Mm -hmm. Then I flip it over and I crack an egg right into the ring mold. It's so genius. You contain it right in that thing. If you want it runny, you can skip this step, but if you want to cook through, I would just poke a hole in the yolk, spread out the yolk so it's nice and even. When the pepper is, <laughs> is cooking, we're gonna take the English muffin and we're gonna put down a little oil and just get that extra crispy because it's just gonna taste better when it's you better. get a little. Just cause it's a pepper doesn't mean salt and pepper. Don't forget the salt and pepper. And now we're ready to plate. Take off your English muffin, stack on that pepper ring egg creation and then creation. top it with a little bit of bacon cheese ooh, ooh. and you can obviously you can obviously put extra sauce on that whatever you want you i like it with hot rules. sauce with ketchup. Add more ingredients yeah. <laughs> yeah you can add tops flatbread pan pizza is incredible because you don't need an oven and most people in college don't have an oven you can do this on like a forming grill or a little hot plate all you do is you take the flatbread not the pita pita would work but pocketless. Yeah, pocketless. Pocketless. Pita. It's the yeah. same as a flatbread. Put a little oil down in the pan, cook it on the one side, and what that's gonna do is get it like a little bit crispy. So then when you flip it over, that side's already heated. So okay. that's the trick, right? It's like a, it's an instant pizza. Oven instant right pizza there. oven. It's crispiness. And then you put your little sauce down. Don't use too much or it'll get too watery. Sprinkle some cheese. And at this point, you just kind of let it cook. You can cover it if you want. It will sort of create a little oven in there and steam up the cheese so it's like this up and down thing. This up and down yeah. thing? What are you <laughs> talking the heat. about? It bounces off the lid. Oh, okay, bounce. the heat is going up and then it's going down. <laughs> yeah, and then you take it off. You rip on some basil or whatever you want. Mm. No basil, basil, it's all good with me. Yeah. And then you just cut it up and you have this delicious crispy on the bottom pizza. And that thing is great with extra vegetables, whatever you, you want to You can add anything it. you want. Yeah. Pizza for breakfast. When your pizza's mm. on the flatbread, you can have pizza anytime. So simple. And if you're it's vegan, so you can get rid of the mozzarella or the cheese mm -hmm. and use yeah, pesto. Yeah, just make it like a tomato pie or you can use pesto. Mm. Very easy to convert that and other things. But the crispiness you get from a pan, so underrated. So underrated. <laughs> so for the final recipe, the dinner experience, we're gonna do the four ingredient tofu, broccoli, and pineapple stir fry. So what we're gonna start off with is a little bit of firm tofu. I took the tofu and I just 
put that in some paper towel to really drain out the liquid because we want to get some crispiness on this tofu. It's going to taste so much better. We're going to get a pan pretty nice and hot, get some oil on there. Then I chopped up the tofu in some cubes so it fries up nice. Threw that in the pan and just let that sit for like a few minutes on the, the one side. You're going for that brown crust. That is the flavor, that's the experience right there. Then I flip that over <laughs> to the other side, just toss that around until all the sides are nice and brown, nice and crispy. Make sure you hit the tofu with salt every now and then because the tofu loves the salt, it needs it. It's gonna be pretty bland without it. So once that's done, throw that off into a bowl. Now we're onto the broccoli. I add a little more oil into the pan and I literally just take the broccoli and shave it off broccoli right haircut? into the pan. A broccoli <laughs> haircut, exactly. These one? Okay, yeah, yeah. Jo jo that is the, the broccoli head. I think this broccoli head needs a broccoli haircut. The broccoli in this head. So the broccoli's cut up, it's starting to fry up in that pan. While that's happening, you can make your quick sauce. We're gonna open up a can of pineapple chunks. And I know so that sounds weird. a little weird, but it's gonna be delicious because you're starting to get a little sweetness in the sauce. So you pour off some of the juice in the pineapple, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna add soy sauce to that. That's our last ingredient. So right there, a two ingredient instant salty and sweet mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Sour, like sweet it. and sour, exactly. So then we're gonna take the actual pineapple chunks and throw them in with the broccoli and just start to saute those off together. And then once that's looking real nice, right at this point, looking real good, we're gonna take the tofu, put it back in there and add on your delicious sweet and sour mm. sauce. Just let that Ooh. sit and build its <laughs> flavor. The sugars are gonna reduce and it's gonna just turn into glory. Okay. I'm telling you, look at that. Just awesome. absolutely glory. Crave so just rice. cook it for a few minutes, everything's yes. gonna come together. <laughs> You still got a little extra sauce. You can add, you can serve that over rice, of course, or yes. over noodles. That's yes. gonna be delicious. But again, we are four ingredients right here. Mm, so good. An apple. That actually is just straight vegan. The others are vegetarian. You got a little skines in there, some brown rice. Holy hell. Yeah. Holy hell. Look at these yummies. <laughs> Look at these yummies. Not too bad, right? Yeah. I really like. I really like a stir fry. Would never think to put pineapple or any fruit with a stir fry. Make sure you guys head over to their channel. Brothers Green Eats. You know, budget cooking, a lot of fun videos over there, but we also did a collab video with Maya on our channel. You can click on that right here. Back to school toaster oven Toaster recipes. oven. I love toaster oven. Yeah. So Everyone, smart. you know, if you got a toaster oven, you can make a lot in that thing. So make sure you check that out. Yes. So these are their favorite college recipes. I want to know what yours is. Comment below. Let us know. Um, mine was close to this. Okay. This is, yeah. Yeah, this is very, you, I, I had this, but on English muffin. When we originally uh, talked to Maya, she said her favorite was like a pizza bagel or a right. pizza on an English so muffin. So you're saying you could basically put these together yeah. and have the ultimate. Combo pack. Oh, I'm kind of like. Combo pack. This tastes good. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you guys want to see next. We'll do another collaboration. We'll do the volume two. That's it. Remember to do you. Be you. Stay true. Be shameless. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, do we need this?